How to keep a goldfish happy and healthy. Goldfish can be wonderful pets but they don't always have long lives because people don't care for them properly. To make sure your goldfish stays happy and healthy, it's important to give it a proper home, take care of its daily needs, and enrich its life with items in its tank and attention. Here are some tips for making sure your goldfish is healthy and happy by caring for it properly. Setting up a proper home for your goldfish. Get an aquarium that is at least 10 gallons 37.9 L An aquarium that is about 10 gallons 37.9 L is good for one happy and healthy goldfish. This size will give it ample room to swim around and will give you space to add plants and decorations that will enrich its life. Do not put your goldfish in a goldfish bowl. This will not give the fish enough room or enrichment. Even if your goldfish is small, it is best not to place it in a bowl because they grow quickly and they will have less and less space to thrive. The generally accepted rule is to add 2 gallons of water to every inch of additional goldfish. For example, a tank with two 4-inch goldfish and two 2-inch goldfish would need to be at least 20 gallons. It seems like a lot of room for 4 fish, but goldfish produce high levels of toxic ammonia and need the extra water to dilute this chemical. Add gravel, plants, and items of interest to the tank. Items that are great in a fish tank include pieces of wood, plants, stones, or ornaments for your goldfish to swim around. However, be sure to buy everything you are going to put in the aquarium in the aquarium store. Otherwise it may contain harmful substances and kill your fish. Never stack rocks in a way they could fall on your goldfish if the fish bumps into it. Use only natural plants that are sold in aquarium stores, such as Ballisneria and Hydrilla. Usually goldfish likes natural plants because they can give them an easy hiding place and some of the aquarium plants even serve as food for the fish. Be sure to leave lots of open space for swimming. Your goldfish needs a mix of different kinds of spaces, with some open water and some dense areas where it can hide. A good rule is to keep three quarters of the space as open water and one quarter of the space decorated. Oxygenate the water with an air supply. Add a bubbler to the tank so that oxygen is added to the water constantly. These small machines simply take air from your room and pump it into the water, which will allow the goldfish to breathe. There are a variety of things you can buy to oxygenate the water in your tank. Most people use a simple bubbler or an air stone in their goldfish tanks. These are available at all aquarium and pet stores, and usually can be purchased when you buy your tank. There are a variety of things you can buy to oxygenate the water in your tank. Most people use a simple bubbler or an air stone in their goldfish tanks. These are available at all aquarium and pet stores, and usually can be purchased when you buy your tank. Put a filtration system in your tank. It's important to use a filter on the tank because goldfish can create a lot of waste, especially ammonia. As with the bubbler, filters are available at all aquarium and pet stores and are typically purchased along with your tank. There are a variety to sizes and types of fish tank filters you can choose from. Talk to an employee at your aquarium store to determine which is best for your specific tank and fish. In general, aquarium filters circulate the water through several layers of filtration to remove organic material, such as excess food, and chemicals in the water, such as ammonia. Add a heater to the tank. While goldfish can live in a variety of water temperatures, they will be happier and healthier if you keep the water between 72 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit 22 to 24 degrees Celsius. When you are purchasing your tank, get a heater that fits on the tank and can heat the water in that tank effectively. There are different size heaters for different sized aquariums. It is important to use a bubbler and filter when using a heater so that the water gets moved around the tank and doesn't have overly hot areas. It is important to keep the temperature in your tank constant, as changes in temperature can stress the fish, which can lead to illness. There are different size heaters for different sized aquariums. It is important to use a bubbler and filter when using a heater so that the water gets moved around the tank and doesn't have overly hot areas. It is important to keep the temperature in your tank constant, as changes in temperature can stress the fish, which can lead to illness. Add chemicals to the tank to dechlorinate the water. It is important to make the water you put in the tank suitable for your fish. Tap water can have a variety of chemicals in it that are not healthy for fish, most notably chlorine. Luckily, there are inexpensive additives you can get that will eliminate those unhealthy chemicals. Talk to an employee at your local aquarium store to figure out what products you should add to your tank and how often you should add them. 
Talk to an employee at your local aquarium store to figure out what products you should add to your tank and how often you should add them. Test the water over the course of several days. After the tank is set up and before you put your fish in it you should do something called cycling the tank. This is a process in which you test the water over the course of several days to make sure that the nitrate and ammonia levels are safe for a fish. Set up the aquarium and test it before you bring your goldfish home. Get all the pieces of your aquarium before you buy your fish. Setting up the whole thing and having the water prepared will make it easier for your goldfish to adjust happily to its beautiful new home. Once you bring your goldfish home, you want to start gradually introducing it to the aquarium right away. For example, keeping it in the water it came in and floating it on the surface of the tank will allow the fish to adjust to the temperature of the tank without going into shock. Once you bring your goldfish home, you want to start gradually introducing it to the aquarium right away. For example, keeping it in the water it came in and floating it on the surface of the tank will allow the fish to adjust to the temperature of the tank without going into shock.